exo asteroid came from outside our solar system. Astronomers this month detailed a piece of rock orbiting around Jupiter that is of interstellar origins. That means the object came from somewhere outside our solar system, and because of that, it's called an exo asteroid. The object, called 2015 BZ09, orbits the Sun and passes by Jupiter, but in a weird way. Study author Dr. Helena Morais explained to CNN that both celestial bodies take around the same time to orbit the Sun, but move in opposing directions, clockwise and counterclockwise, meaning they pass each other twice. According to Cosmos magazine, the exo asteroid has been doing that for 4.5 billion years and will continue to do so forever. But it's not the only object from outside our solar system out there. Last year, scientists found this interstellar object passing through our cosmic neighborhood. Called Oumuamua, this was said to be the solar system's first interstellar visitor. In other words, Oumuamua is a tourist, but the exo-asteroid, because of its orbit, isn't going anywhere. Here are some more space stories. Cali gets interplanetary. Planet California is sending something pretty cool to the red planet next month. In a first for the U.S. West Coast, NASA will launch their InSight mission to Mars from the Vandenberg Air Force in California on May 5. The higher it gets, the more visible it'll be. NASA reckons 10 million Californians will be able to see it. Protected by an aeroshell, the lander will travel for around six months before reaching Mars. Once close to the atmosphere, it'll begin a six-minute descent around 80 miles from the surface. As it descends, the spacecraft will get rid of its heat shielding and deploy a parachute. Once there, the InSight lander will remain stationary. NASA will use it to probe the Martian surface and analyze soil samples from deep inside the planet. Zombie satellite found by amateur stargazer. A zombie was found in space last weekend. A zombie satellite, that is. Scott Tilley received a signal from a spacecraft number 2000 017A 26113. That's NASA's missing image satellite. After being launched in 2000 by the space agency, the satellite was thought to be long gone after scientists lost contact with it in 2005. The satellite was sent into space to investigate Earth's magnetosphere, the space around our planet controlled by our planetary magnetic field. NASA is now reportedly working around the clock with old software in a bid to communicate with the zombie satellite. Maybe John Constantine can help. The U.S. and Russia are going to build an epic space base. The Deep Space Gateway. That may sound like some sort of science fiction fantasy, but it could soon be science reality. NASA and Russia's space agency Roscosmos has signed an agreement to work on a new space station near the moon. The proximity of the Deep Space Gateway to the Moon would create opportunities for lunar missions and future deep space exploration, such as missions to Mars and beyond. Space agencies from Japan, Europe and Canada are also interested in working on the project that is currently at the conceptual stage of design. Once complete, NASA says it hopes to use the base to extend the presence of humanity in the solar system. Weaponizable Satellites? A UK-based space company is planning to launch satellite servicing drones by 2020, but experts warn these could double as space weapons. Space Drone is an 800-pound spacecraft that can dock onto aging satellites running low on fuel and help stabilize and maneuver them. The drones remain attached for up to five years before then moving the satellite to a graveyard orbit at the end of its life. Experts believe the space drones can be used to clean up Earth's orbit by directing space debris into the atmosphere to burn up. Theoretically, the drones could also be weaponized and used to hijack active satellites and push them out of orbit. The company that makes the space drone says any technology has the potential to be abused and claims they can prevent this by retaining control and simply offering their services. Water on Earth may have come from beyond the stars. Hundreds of billions of years ago, beyond what we know as time, the gas giants of Saturn and Jupiter formed in a solar system-wide fireworks display. And our very existence might be a result of that cosmic spectacle. A study published in the journal Icarus suggests that Earth's water is a simple byproduct of giant planet growth. During the formation of gas giants such as Saturn or Jupiter, they enter a period of rapid growth. 
This destabilized nearby water-rich space rocks, known as planetismals, bringing them into the planetary orbit. Next, the gravity there would have propelled these to the inner or outer solar system. The researchers speculate some were sent in an inward direction towards some early form of Earth and seeded it with water. So in other words, if Jupiter or Saturn didn't go boom, boom, shake, shake the cosmos, water may not have come to Earth, and life as we know it may never have existed.